on exploration the truth about lies people miss 50 percent of the lies that happen in front of them because we look for the wrong symptom south carolina detective mike davis has driven 1200 miles to learn all about lying a lie involving an emotion is the hardest lie to pull off successfully if the observer knows what to look for Mike's come to hear interview expert and specialist lie catcher Stan Walters. Okay. What are the things would be important to Terry? To you? Stan's teaching the class how to decode the subtle and often unconscious signals that accompany lies. People miss 50% of the lies that happen in front of them. Now that's law enforcement, that's judges, that's media, the press, that's teachers, counselors, because number one, we look for the wrong symptoms. So this is Stan uses taped interviews with federal prisoners to demonstrate these symptoms. The key things to look for in spotting deception, think of just two basic categories. Think of speech behaviors and think of body language behaviors. Speech okay, behaviors, look out? for phrases such as trust me, believe me, honestly to tell the truth, uh, why would I lie? What else? Oh, it said I don't know, I don't know twice. Okay, good. Body language happens because there has been a lie. It's the giveaway. There's only so much that we can consciously control. The most common symptoms in body language are aversion. Okay, you so see the body go back, which is our aversion behavior. Now, aversion, very common, is a major movement of the person's body away from you at the appropriate time when you ask an important question. I don't know. And you see that know. major movement, the head moving away, or turning of the shoulders or the torso away. What else? Good. And you got this going here. The other common language behavior is, is a phenomenon that's called negation. Negation is like, uh, in a way, is dropping a curtain over in front of the face so that the observer doesn't see, oh, Stan's not being truthful. Yeah, this chief of police from, uh, from L.A. who murdered his mayor, that, that's still illegal in some places. <laughs> uh, yes, when the last time you saw the, ma the, the mayor? Uh, let's see, I think he was, um, um, I, he was in the booth, I think, and he, all of a sudden, boom, he covers his whole face. The hand of the mouth is negation. negation. We got an aversion. We get the I don't know twice. Now watch the topic. We shot to the head. He's telling you he doesn't know. I surveyed a thousand police officers here in the U.S. in 25 states, and I found in basic training that only two out of the five officers got any training on interviewing skills. What does a patrol officer do on the street all day long? He interviews victims, he interviews witnesses, he interviews informants and subjects, and we don't give them those skills. And a good 50% of what they're getting in training on interviewing is scientifically incorrect. Scott Peterson lying about his innocence. Did he murder his pregnant wife, Lacey? The lie guy, Stan Walters, teaches interview and interrogation techniques to law enforcement, the military, and government intelligence. And he's the one called in to analyze the gestures and words of suspected killers, kidnappers, and arsonists. This is yeah. Diane Sawyer. She did an exclusive interview with Scott Peterson and asked him if he killed his pregnant wife, Lacey. Let's watch. Did you murder your wife? No, no. Uh, I just thought and I had absolutely nothing to do with her disappearance and and use the word murder and yeah I mean that is a, a possibility he's talking about the possible murder of his wife and did you see how he was Are smiling yeah smiling is a common stress behavior stress reliever that human beings use it it relieves the tension it's the most recognizable of all human expressions, and it has a way of diffusing the negative or bad message. So it kind of takes the edge off the message. So it's a good stress reaction. Now, just because you're stressed doesn't mean you're being deceptive. Watch this one. This is when Scott shows some emotion, whether it's forced or real, and mm -hmm. he cries when he talks about walking through the park and remembering his wife, Lacey. So I've been taking the dog down to the park where she walked. <laughs> it's like our time. Okay, now what are you noticing about this as he's, as he's crying? The hardest lie to accomplish is an emotional lie. It's very strong. Because you've got the, the tears face. going and everything. The tears are going, but if you've noticed in his face, right around his eyebrows and in the eyes and the mouth, when, we, when you're crying and you're upset and pain, what does your mouth tend to do? It tends to go down. Uh -huh. And there's a pain in the eyes. What we see in this case, look at his mouth, we see the corners of the mouth going up, and we see smile lines right here in the corner can we of the see, Can we see his smile from the other one and the, and the, and the cry together? Maybe we get a better idea of what you're talking about here. So that it, one. See, look at this. We have the same thing here, the corner of the mouth up, eyes up, and then look in here. 
There's a little expression I'm going to show you. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Yeah. You know what else is interesting is what is missing from the face that you might not notice. And you, you mm -hmm. say it's this grief thing? What's it called a grief muscle? It's, it's the nickname for it. Darwin spotted this over 100 years ago. And it's called the emotion of exp expressing the emotion of man and animals. Let's show a picture of a woman whose grief mm -hmm. muscle is very prominent. It's the, the grief muscle, and you have, it looks like a little upside-down horseshoe shape. Now, hers is extremely pronounced, very, very high. We don't see it in the spot here with, with Scott uh, Peterson here. Mm -hmm. Another phenomenon is when the eyebrows will pull briefly toward each other. Very, very reliable cue of emotional pain. 98% of the population cannot fake that. So, this is something we can't, uh, watching you going, okay, I'm going to fake this grease yeah. muscle. You, you can't do really it. practice in the mirror hours and hours and hours to do it. So, what so I'm if he is, had Botox. He'd have to have a gallon of it shot in there. <laughs> okay. yeah. There's nothing there. Okay. So we have a contradiction again. Voice message doesn't match the facial expression. Mm -hmm. Why is he masking one, hiding the other? Right. So what I'm saying is his emotion is not from depression. There's something else that's heavy stress going on, but not depression.